Mumbai, India, the home of Indian film industry. Every year, from all over the country, many Indians land in Mumbai with a dream to make it big, praying to their gods each day to fulfill their dreams of soaring high in the world of glitz and glamour, to be that face which is famous, to have millions of fans all over, a dream that brings one to the realities of the struggles it entails in this journey. This is a story of some of those people who like million others dreamt big, won their battles with immense talent and determination and danced their way to stardom. We are going to hear some of the stories of Bollywood's topmost choreographers who would share their artistic journey. Dance is the art of movement of body to the rhythms of music using improvised steps and gestures. Indian cinema choreography cannot even begin to be defined without Saroj Khan, one of the most prominent Indian dance choreographers in Hindi cinema, who is specially known for her graceful and popular master moves and unmatchable facial expressions. Dance is my life. I live for dance. I die for dance. First time when my mother saw me dancing, looking at the shadow, my mother thought I was retarded where Saroj Khan's mom found her daughter's dancing skills abnormal, this choreographer's mom had saw it coming way earlier. Breaking stereotypes in choreography from a very young age was another beautiful and humble choreographer, Pony Verma. A leading choreographer in the industry, Pony is known for her exquisite style of dancing, incorporating Indian classical and folk dances as brilliantly as Western dance forms. Being very honest, I think uh, it was from the time I was in my mom's womb, because my mom would every time tell me that every time she would go to a doctor for her sonography, and I would just turn around, and the doctor would tell my mom that, you know, aapka bachcha bahut naachta hai pet mein. Like, you know, your child dances a lot in the stomach, and she would, like the doctor would have to make it, make me straight and I would other, again the next sonography I would go around. So when I started dancing, um, I, watching television if the music would start and I would start dancing and my mom would say, you know, uh, se, she was like that from the childhood like she has been. <laughs> Internationally acclaimed choreographer Longinius Fernandez, or Longi as he is popularly known, reached a point in his early days when he decided dance is it for him. When I finished my SSC, in those days I gave me a past tenth, like that's the ultimate. From there on the dancing bug got into me. My parents were not supportive initially, but then like every other parent they had the right to make sure that their son goes in the right direction. So dance direction was not the right direction for them. Because at the, uh, in those days, dance was not considered all to be all that great as a profession or maybe to make it like your living or to make it like your lifestyle, if not your life. Feroz Khan, who comes from a humble background and started off as a background dancer, also didn't get his family's approval. We from a Muslim background and my dad is, uh, you know, is very, uh, this thing, you know, you, had, you need to study first and then whatever you have to do. He wanted me to be an engineer or a doctor, but uh, I, I never fulfilled their dreams. I would put up in this way that it was only because of my family I turned into a choreographer. After embarking on their journey and being excited about finding their purpose in life, these choreographers had no idea what life had to offer them. It was all about their passion and following their dream. To be very honest, in, in this, uh, what do you say, uh, line, in this kind of, what do you say, field, nothing comes to you easy. Because so a struggle is a never-ending struggle. I was trying to learn, I mean, whatever I could, you know, when I was teaching, I was learning. So I was trying my best to see if I can earn at the same time. 
So make that extra buck. I would room of time and spend time in, in training people. Dancing in those days were not very highly accepted because uh, I used to feel that, oh, they're just dancers, you know, they're the most cheapest people in the world. Because I've gone through that stage where, uh, you know, people used to literally uh, tell us on our faces, you know, Are, you're a dancer, you know, you're a cheapster. The struggle of being a background dancer for them was one thing, but for our women choreographers, the struggle was also at the level of being a woman in this male-dominated domain. The biggest drawback in our industry used to be is they never trusted ladies. When I became a choreographer, they wouldn't take me because they thought that dancing is only man's job. As I was young, you know, going to offices when they call you to choreograph and they would see and they say, okay, do, you need, do you really know your job? Would you be able to handle the camera? Would you be able to handle the dancers? Will you be able to handle the actors? You know, uh, first of all, you've got to deal with your producers and then you have to like try your level best to convince your director for the ideas you have. Then once you pass that, then you, you, you have actors and some of the actors, they have a lot of act, you know, attitude problem and they would always look down on you, you're a newcomer and you would give them a step and they would change the step into what they like it, you know. Dancers would take you easy. So that A class group wouldn't take me. They thought, what will she know about camera and this and that? Imagine supported me, Dharminder Singh Rajput, Ashok Kumar, Mr. supported me, because they knew my capacity. But the producers, directors didn't know my capacity. I cannot uh, uh, say that I've not had hardships. I had hardships, I had a lot of tears, I have a lot of hurt. Um, I have like a lot of pain, you know, I felt I was nobody, that, you know, there was, my confidence was shattered. And, you know, there, there's a low face which comes in everybody's life, you know, nothing is fairy tale always. My life never had a fairy tale. Because first there were no awards for choreographers. When we questioned them, when our association went into a strike, they said we will not give you an award because in one picture there are six, six dance masters. The picture doesn't run on its own. But when Teza ran only on one song, they opened the gates. And I was the first one to get the award. Film fair, 18. Guy for showing me this day. With new films come new talents who bring with them their own stories. New stories of struggles and success. One talented girl from this new generation is Vrishali Chavan, who had her first stint with Bollywood with the Indian dance reality show Dance India Dance. To be honest, Dance India Dance is something I had never planned for. It's my younger brother who really planned for my younger brother Prasen. And then finally eventually I actually went ahead and auditioned and to my surprise I was selected. I really enjoy uh, Master G Saroji's work. I think uh, today a Madhuri is Madhuri because of Saroj Khan and a Sri Devi is Sri Devi because of a Saroj Khan. I remember working with her on Aja Nachleve. I was scared. I was like, oh my god, that's Saroj Khan. And if she doesn't like you, she'll tell you you're bad. Go home. I definitely have to acknowledge Ganesh Master. I think even as being a part of ABCD and seeing him live, seeing him perform, he's so much fun. He's like, oh my god, that face is like, oh, he's so happy. So you automatically, it's like a switch that's pressed, you know. I think I want to be the solo choreographer who can act and choreograph as well. Me, Me Sarangi. Sarangi. <laughs> For Rushali, it is these choreographers who inspire her. But who were they inspired by? Like I was very much kicked about Mr. Amitabh Bachchan. I saw this film called Dawn and I saw Khai Ke Paan Bana Razawala. And I felt hey, what kind of dancing is this? And the kind of dancing that he did was simply outstanding. It was phenomenal. And the fact is that that has taken me a very long, long way because 
when you see something like that a non conventional looking hero to start off with a person who you have got no expectations about he goes up there and he brings the house down and then you feel that you can relate to him so i wanted everyone to relate to me so that's how my songs began whether it was khane ka peene ka whether it was musu musu hasi whether it was jaan leva jaan leva or whether it was pappu kaan dance sala or a very great film slum dog nera called jai ho so when i did all these kind of songs i had a huge following i would love paul abdul uh because i was in school as to see her dance and she was a choreographer and actor and a model and she I was I would love the way she would dance and I wouldn't miss any of her songs on MTV days um and of course Jennifer Lopez Some technicians reached a certain height of success that they became an inspiration for others they became instrumental in helping others achieve their own dreams as well my only mentor uh, from the beginning of my career until date until end of my life will be one and only one farah khan the person who opened our eyes and got us on to this field at least for me is farah khan she's been very instrumental in my career so i can proudly say that i owe a lot to that lady and she never treated me as an assistant or any of us actually you know she always uh, treat us like her children she taught me how to direct yourself and focus to what you want to do in life and that's why i'm here she is the best boss one can have in this world technical uh, training only happened while i was on the job uh, luckily i did a lot of films with mr priyadarshan um, i think i would have finished only 25 films only with priyadarshan he used to make like four films a year and every time he would play sub block you know his idea of seeing frame is very different it's very different than other choreographers most of the choreographers plan their steps and then place the camera and mr priyadarshan has a different style so i would uh, consider him as my technical guru lonji got an international project that would change his life and bring him on the world map when he met danny boyle I was actually shocked about the fact that that man is a simpleton. And he told me, "Well, Lonjanis, it's very good that you have come on time and uh, show me what you've got." So I had one DVD and I said, "Sir, can you play this?" So he said, "Can I watch it while I'm having my coffee?" And I I said, "Yeah, why not? Go ahead." So he have us he was sipping his coffee and he watched it and he saw the full song. It was a 7-minute song, "Lift Kara De." the guy who choreographed the dance at the end of the film he's called Longinus and i forgot him off the credits and i only found out about it 2 weeks ago i'm an idiot and i apologize from the bottom of my heart longinus thank you so much nothing is persistent but change each human goes through high and low phases in life considering the brutal and harsh world of films a low point in life can sometimes weaken the best and throw them off track My lowest was only one time uh, when my mummy passed away 10 years back. Mother is everything in the world, you know, she's heaven beneath you. And uh, yeah, that 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 was a turning point for me and there was just a low point where I've lost her and uh, and the high point immediately came when Farama came to my house the day she passed away and she told me, "Rose, how however, however and how much you want to cry, cry it out. Just cry it out." and just stand back tomorrow on your feet because you have to look after your family and that one word made me so strong in this 10 years i got a position in the industry where people know me by my name my family name and i'm really happy and i'm really thankful to her because because of her i'm here that one word 10 years back changed my entire life and my career i got my hand um it slipped off and it came straight into my arm hole and I was operated and I couldn't do the show. I was home for a year and it was very painful. That entire phase that passed by was absolutely challenging and as a dancer, symmetry is the thing for me. Nothing can be up, down, right, left, wrong, nothing. Ah. Is that Shakti? Who is that? With situations from good to bad to ugly, Bollywood can make you go through it all. Be it celebrities or newcomers, exploitation is a common employment hazard. In Bollywood, especially, 
if you let if you give someone your finger they will definitely take your hand see all i say is in industry when you all are together um opposite attracts people get attracted to you um you get a proposal it's for you to see or for you to handle the dancers like i remember when i work with all these dancers and these girl dancers have this certain opinion about this certain guy and how he just find ways of touching them you get a proposal it's, it's in a very smart way you have to you know take it off you know we have a lot of affairs which happens on the set nobody pushes or rapes in the industry i must tell you this it's the kind of people who are actually responsible for such things it's the kind of men it's the kind of women that are collectively responsible and it gets tagged in the name of oh bollywood mein aise hi hota hai Films are a collaborative medium and choreographers are the directors of the songs essentially Subhash bhai ko har moment yaad rehta hai aur unka aur mera conflict पहले से ही होता रहा क्यों होता था मैं कंपोज करके सेट पे जाती थी चल दिखा क्या बनाया तुमने तो मैं बिगनिंग से नाच के खुद बताई ये वाला मोमेंट ना तेरा ये थोड़ा डल पड़ता है यहाँ कुछ ऐसे टाइप का मोमेंट आना चाहिए मैं एक अल्फाज नहीं बोलती थी तो मैंने कुछ और डाल दिया और इनको बता दिया इन्होंने कहा हाँ ये ठीक है ये वाला अच्छा नहीं कुछ और डाल दिया था जो पहला इन्होंने कैंसिल किया था ना वो डाल दिया होता है हाँ ये बात भी ना नहीं आते हैं उनको कि मैंने पहले नाच चुकी हूँ अल्टीमेटली घूम घाम के मैं अपनी ही चीज जो नाचती थी वही नाची हूँ एंड में और इन्होंने कहा है वो ही देर आर टाइम्स लॉट ऑफ ईगोज ऑल्सो कम so i leave it to them i tell them like four or five times this is what will look nice if they're still stubborn your baby go ahead it used to be very frustrating when you choreograph your song and you never used to get ed- to edit your songs so that is a very important part for a choreographer if you don't get to edit your songs because you know what you have done it so most of the directors in our uh bollywood industry would never let choreographer edit the song edit hum kar lenge we will edit it you've choreographed you put the angles now we'll edit it andaaz apna usme ek gana aata hai jidhar ye joker bana hua hai topi pehn ke raat ke aur dhol ki baja raha hai particularly rajkumar santoshi used to work with me to mujhe kya bola saroj ye character jo hai ye laughter wala hai amir jo hai wo hero type ka hai उसको जो कुछ भी देना एक हीरो टाइप का देना नाउ दिस इज माई डायरेक्टर्स इंस्ट्रक्शन विद द स्टोरी हाउ कैन आई चेंज इट सेट पे आए उनको डांस दिखाया सलमान को और गले में उनकी ढोल की डाला मेरे को आके बोला सरोज जी भी नहीं है सरोज ये ढोल की नहीं अच्छी लगती मेरे को मेरे को देख सामने बैठा है जाके बोल दे डायरेक्टर मेरे को ये नहीं पसंद है उतार दे मुझे क्या है मेरे को तो तेरे को नचाना है है ना वो गले में रखना है नहीं रखना है वो उसकी कंडीशन है वो उठ के आया आके बहुत फ्रेंकली बोला जो मास्टर जी करा रहे हैं वही करना ये मेरे इंस्ट्रक्शन है अब खत्म हो गया गाना तो मेरे से ऐसा हाथ मिला के कहता है सरोज खान ये सलमान खान अब तुम्हारे साथ कभी काम नहीं करे In those days, dancers used to get about twenty-six rupees for hours for eight hours shooting. I just always think, you know, whenever I've gone out to work, people always say that money is not there. money has been great is has been whatever i'm earning i'm i'm very happy with it choreography and assisting choreography is not big money it's lot it's big hard work i would say for me it's hilarious because every even if the biggest film i go and they say madam budget kam hai but gana you have to do it ki whatever you want for the song but they wouldn't like to pay you that's in the industry <laughs>
the industry is constantly changing with technicians techniques are also changing आजकल हम लोग एक शैडो प्ले हो गए पीछे अब बेटा पिक्चर देखिए तो आपको मालूम पड़ेगा एक है ना सैया जी से छुपके हुई क्या सोला के अलग अलग एक्सप्रेशन है क्योंकि वो गाग के उसको तंग करती है पर आजकल कहाँ डांस मास्टर को फोर्स करते हैं उनको सिर्फ फ्रंट फिगर को नचाने में टाइम लगता है बाकी उनके असिस्टेंट नचाते हैं हम नहीं हम चाहे बैकग्राउंड डांसर हो कोई भी हो मैं खुद जाके उनके एक एक एक्सप्रेशन टाइम हैज चेंज यू नो बिफोर दे सुटी डांसर्स इन वेरी बैड वे इन बॉलीवुड they were really treated bad they used to, you know uh, they are the most important people we need in the industry in to make bollywood i think you need dancers they were always underpaid they were made work hard you know they make them work hard they don't give them good food to eat but now the trend has completely changed dancers have become very professional they have their shift and they get very good amount of money you see a lot of dancers have a very good lifestyle of living now and they're very professional you know they themselves because the kind of money they get now they order the, even if you, the choreographer is not having juices the dancers have ordered their juices and everything and they are very uh, prim and perfect now pehle to hame maloom hai ek 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 ladki ki kahani hoti thi unke piche to come into group dance aaj kal to shock ke liye aate hain paisa zyada milne laga hai kai ladkiyan maine apni aankhon se dekha jaisa backup hota hai payment lete hain वहीं बियर खुल के बैठ जाते पीने के लिए वहीं सिगरेट द होल सिनेरियो इज डिफरेंट नाउ एवरी कोरियोग्राफर इज डूइंग दिस नाउ एट द मोमेंट एवरीबडी दे टेक आउट माइकल जैक्सन दे टेक आउट सो एंड सो दे टेक आउट हंड्रेड पीपल सिटाउन एंड दे टॉक विद द आर्टिस्ट इसको ऐसा करेंगे इसको ऐसा पिक्चर एज करेंगे इसको ऐसे अरे तेरा मेजर किधर है making a career in bollywood is a mix of hard work and luck to be part of the equity like to the to be the part of the union you have to be dancing under a professional choreographer so once you join in the industry you need to make a id plus you need to spend uh, there's a there's a term called 5 years as a dancer under a choreographer then you certified to be an assistant choreographer with the help of the letter from the choreographer and from there you become an assistant choreographer dancers life is they have to be correct in synchronization they have to be just right you know problem is like 20 dancers dancing with the actor dancing and one girl here is not able to do chick 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 and she makes a mistake you say cut you need one more because the dancer made a mistake i think comes for free and everything has got something which is tagged along with it and that tag is basically all about your inputs your creativity your dedication your determination and above all your faith and confidence in yourself i think every dancer can be a choreographer uh so i to say but there are a lot of choreographers who don't know how to dance you know this is my um my experience in the industry uh so not every dancer can turn into a choreographer so i think you should start looking for a parallel work i think dancers life is make hay while the sun shines It is a constant struggle for being the best in the business. Past couple of decades have seen a growth in this art form where many background dancers have succeeded into becoming choreographers and choreographers have become successful filmmakers. In Hollywood there's one thing you're known for your greatest release. In Hollywood you're known for your latest release. Bombay mein kya release hua hai iska? That's how they talk. It's a great industry. Bollywood has been a great industry. It's been like a family. आज तक मैं नाचने के लिए तैयार हूँ, नचाने के लिए तैयार हूँ. That's my first love.
choreographer in Bollywood is called a master ji. A Bollywood dance exists because of a master ji. As long as Bollywood music is going to be there, choreographers will remain the body to these songs and continue to entertain us. Dance is the hidden language of the soul. As Baz Luhrmann puts it beautifully, enjoy your body, use it every way you can. Don't be afraid of it or what other people would think of it. It is the greatest instrument you'll ever own. Dance. Thank you.